this has become a tradition of my channel. So this is the third year running in which I will show you all of the Christmas picture books um, that I will be reading to Peter in this season. And maybe Arthur, if he can sit still long enough, but he's still not really all that interested in being read to. Um, so our system that we do is he has an advent calendar, which you'll see in a vlog. It's a really fun one this year. Um, and then each morning I have a wrapped uh, in Christmas paper picture book for him to unwrap and we read it together. And it's just become a really fun tradition. So I'm not going to go into much detail on the books because there's a whole stack here. We ended up with some extras so then he can just have some Christmas books kind of around the house that he can look at himself. Um, so without further ado, a couple of them I think are ones that uh, you all recommended. I asked for recommendations on Instagram. Some of them weren't accessible in the U.S. But anyhow, without further ado is Pip and Posey, The Christmas Tree. The Night Before Christmas, a Berenstain Bears books, which he enjoys the Berenstain Bears books more than I do reading them, but he really likes them. So Angelina's Christmas. I didn't know there was a Christmas book in this series. It just looks very charming. And I realized I picked out a lot of snowy and woodland creature books. <laughs> That's kind of a thing that I like at around Christmas time. I did not know about this one before. I'm very excited uh, because of our southern roots. This is The Legend of Papa Noel, a Cajun Christmas story. So in this one, Papa Noel um, has alligators who help him deliver presents. So I'm very much looking forward to reading that one. Um, oh, What a Christmas by Michael Garland. I realize I should say author's names. Um, this one just looks very funny. And I think lots of hijinks ensue and Santa's having trouble delivering all of the gifts. It just looks very fun and lively. Um, My Penguin Osbert by Elizabeth Cody Kimmel. I think it's about a little boy who asks Santa for a penguin. Um, then one that my sister-in-law recommended to me is uh, the Church Mice series by Graham Oakley. And this is the Church Mice at Christmas. So I just think it's about church mice and their little Christmas adventures and Santa Claus. And he brings them gifts. And it just looks incredibly charming and winsome. Uh, one by Mercer Mayer that the illustrations look very different. It just looks very sweet. It's the Little Drummer Mouse. Um, so again, woodland creatures in the snow and I am so there. Next is by Tommy D. Pa Paola um, and he has a lot, a lot of books and this one is Guess Who's Coming to Santa's for Dinner. So this one just looks very funny and kind of um, unpredictable and it's all of his guests. Uh, very, very classic, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I'm not actually big on reading aloud much Dr. Seuss, simply because it feels incredibly exhausting, but this is one that I do have a soft spot for, and I really love the cartoon from the 60s, and the music is extra fun to listen to. Um, this came recommended by Emma from, from Bookish Princess, and this is Auntie Claus by Elise Primavera. Uh, so I think it's Santa Claus's sister, uh, I can't tell. I assume it is. Um, but yes, she lives in New York City. So a nice different setting. And I think it will be very fun. Um, I was so charmed by these illustrations. This is called The Christmas Eve Tree by Delia Huddy. I'll just show you. Really looking forward to reading this one. That's a new to me one. Um, the Nutcracker um, by E.T.A. Hoffman, obviously, adapted by Janet Shulman and illustrated by Renee Graef. Um, this is a really long book, so I think this will be really fun for us to read over the course of a couple nights. And it does come with um, the CD, which since it's from the library, I'm not sure how scratched up it will be, but we can always try it out and see if it's doing okay. Uh, the Christmas Wind by Stephanie Simpson McClellan. I haven't read this one, so I'm very curious about it. This is a sequel to the beloved classic tale, Rudolph Shines Again by Robert L. May. Um, I'm, I wouldn't normally be, you know, that interested, but the pictures really charmed me. We shall see. I'll report back on that. Oh, one that Maybe it's a little heavy for a four-year-old, but I just thought it worth checking out. And that's Shooting at the Stars, The Christmas Truce of 1914. 
So <clears throat> this is just about the truce that uh, during World War I, soldiers had for one night on Christmas Eve, and they did no fighting, and they came together, and they feasted, and they laughed, and they played games. It's it's an amazing, amazing story um, of just <laughs> kind of what Christmas can do. Um, and then they just resumed battle the next day. So it's it's really sad at the same time, but I think it's a really amazing and remarkable historical event. Um, a couple that we do own, uh, The Jolly Christmas Postman by Janet and Alan Alberg. I love this book, and it's very interactive. It has lots of little different things you can do in it. Um, this is my parents' one that I was supposed to return last year, so I guess we're returning it this year. Somehow we didn't get around to it. Eloise at Christmas Time uh, by uh, Kay Thompson, and the drawings are by Hilary Knight. This is a very lengthy, wordy Christmas book, but Peter absolutely loves it, so it's very fun. It takes about a half hour to read. Um, just a cute little one, Penguin's Christmas Wish. Peter really liked it. A beautiful one that I saved for <clears throat> Christmas Day or Christmas Eve is Christmas by Jan Pinkowski, which is just the Christmas story from Luke. And just the illustrations are so beautiful. She also has an Easter one, um, but this, that's one that I really like. I love this Jan Brett illustrated, The Night Before Christmas. These books are all dusty. I haven't like taken mine out yet, but... I love Jan Brett's uh, illustrations. Another Jan Brett, um, The Wild Christmas Reindeer. Very classic and iconic, The Polar Express. Peter really likes the movie, so I'm sure he'll be watching that. Um, Babar and Father Christmas. A Peter Rabbit sequel that... I don't know. He likes it, so so I read it. And there is a CD with it? Yes, there is. The Christmas Tale of Peter Rabbit. This is by Emma Thompson. So if he likes it, I guess I'll read it. Um, Ben's Christmas Carol. So this is like a Christmas Carol to told from a mouse's perspective. It's cute. Um, then some Christmas poems. Do Rabbits Have Christmas? Little Rabbit's Christmas by Harry Horse. This is a very cute one about Rabbit getting a sled for Christmas and learning about sharing. Uh, Cork and Fuzz by Dory Chaconis. So it's little little woodland creatures in the snow again. Um, so yeah, they're just trying to find, figure out the magic of, of Christmas and why, why it's so special. One Snowy Night by Nick Butterworth. I think this is one that was recommended to me on Instagram, and it's really fun. All the little animals uh, making friends with, uh, with our main character. It just looks very fun. One that I love to read every year is I'll Be Home for Christmas by Holly Hobby. This is a Toot and Puddle book. If you don't know the Toot and Puddle series, you should check it out. It's so charming about these two pigs named Toot and Puddle who live uh, in a house in, I think it's Massachusetts together. Um, and it's just the coziest of the cozy. Um, Cynthia Ryland is definitely one of my favorite children's authors out there. And this is Christmas in the Country. And it's just her descriptions of uh, Christmases in her childhood in... Of course, now I can't, can't find it. Pacific Northwest. I think that's where it was. So winter in the country and the church, time, church at Christmas time. So... Yeah, I really like Cynthia Ryland's books. Uh, another cute one is Truffles Christmas by Anna Curry. And this is about a little mouse and the Christmas wishes that he makes, the things he's hoping that Santa will bring to him. And then lastly, Mooseltoe by Margie Palatini. I know nothing about this one. I just thought it would make Peter laugh. Um, <laughs> so it's just about, it's going to make me laugh. Um a mouse with really ridiculous hair, apparently. Yes. So those are all of the Christmas picture books we'll be getting to. And I hope that you guys have some picture books that you like to look at at Christmas because I just think picture books are really so much fun to have around at this time of year. So I hope you guys are enjoying my Vlogmas videos and I will see you for another video tomorrow.